folks, welcome to Mainly News Tonight. Uh, I'm Trevor Crowley. And I'm Melissa Jaguar. And tonight we're going to be talking about three stories, including a car crash in Manchester, the uh, proposed changes to the Clean Water Act, and a uh, interesting pinch runner at a Sanford baseball game. But first, let's go to Tucker for the ski report. Hi folks, uh, welcome to Sugarloaf. We're going to give you a good ski report, we're going to test the snow, we're going to rip it up. See you up there. How we doing folks We're up here? Top of Skyline, it's Sugarloaf Mountain. Uh, they got 38 trails open today, 35 of them are groomed, and they got five lifts. It is gorgeous. Corn on the grill in the summer. Fresh snow. You know, we're up here in Carabashit Valley at Sugarloaf. 50 degrees, and we're sweating in places we ain't ever even sweat before. This is my friend Kyle Joseph. Kyle works in Sugarloaf Terrain Parks, uh, Sugarloaf for since 2013. Kyle, take me through your like day-to-day uh, -day operations. So I show up at seven, hop on the lift, I go rake however many parks need to be raked. Um, do park logs, and we ride around and we're on call all day for park patrol. Now how many parks does Sugarloaf have? We have one right now, but we have three all season. I genuinely like your job. I love my job. I get to do this three days a week. <laughs> All right, we're heading up Chupacua right now. I'm here with uh, Mel Gibson and uh, Kyle Farmington. Uh, two, you know, the local rappers, you know. Mel stands sideways, Kyle goes straight downhill. Um, what do you always think of the conditions today? Oh, it's ripping hard. Oh, yeah, it's, hard. Pretty, it's pretty fast up top, but... How fast would you say? About 69 miles an hour. Like a six way. gear, full pin? Yeah, yeah. she's pinning them hard down yeah, you know. yeah. Red lining yeah. yeah. You know, that's all Probably we do up good. here. I'll put sugar loaf, you know, we red line it right down. Alright folks, good day of skiing up here at Sugarloaf. Uh, a lot of slushy turns, some warm weather, and uh, hopefully a nice sunburn. Uh, now we're going to fly back to Farmington and we'll see you in the studio for wicked weather. How we doing folks? Just got back from Sugarloaf. Great day of skiing up on the hill. Welcome to wicked weather. I yeah, got some local temperatures for you. So, uh, over here in Bar Harbor, we got 55 degrees. Out oh, Mount Washington, snowing up top, 25. Up in Concord, New Hampshire, they got 60 degrees. Sanford, 54. Portland, 54. Portsmouth was 50, and the ocean up there is 42, so go for a swim. Now for a seven day inland forecast, uh, tomorrow we're looking at a chance of PM showers, high of 50, low overnight of 42. We're looking at some rain on Saturday with temps in the 60s, low of 51 overnight, but don't hold your breath over the rain because here in Maine, you know, if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. Monday, we're looking at a scorcher, 69 degrees, my favorite number, so I'll be planning on doing some fun stuff that day. And then low of 42 overnight into some sunny skies with 62 on Tuesday into some clouds on Wednesday with a high of 55. And now for our weather on the coast, uh, Thursday we're looking at a chance of p.m. showers, high of 48, low of uh, 43 overnight. Looking at rain also on Saturday, 59 degrees with a low of 50 overnight. So open up your windows and you'll sleep like a baby. Uh, Sunday we got clouds and showers for Easter, but you know the Easter bunny's going to come. He's going to hide some eggs and he's also going to hide those clouds, so it should be sunny. 
Monday, we got possible showers, high of 68, another warm day, so throw on your shorts and your flip-flops and get to the beach. Tuesday, mostly sunny, coming into Wednesday with some increasing clouds with a high of 51. And that was your weather for the week, so now I'm going to pass it on over to the news so you can actually get informed. To start tonight's news, there was a car crash in Manchester on Sunday morning. When police arrived at the scene, they suspected the driver to be under the influence due to the car's position. When paramedics arrived on scene, they administered Narcan due to suspected overdose. Police then searched the car and found baggies of white powder in the glove box, which was suspected to be heroin. After further investigation, the police revealed that the baggies were filled with the remains of the driver's father. A couple of weeks ago, the Trump administration proposed cutting the Clean Water Act. Over 52,000 jobs are supported by the Clean Water, and it brings in $3.5 million into state revenue. Wetlands filter the water naturally, so it's one of the reasons why Maine has such nice wa drinking water. Uh, the changes will cut protections for smaller wetlands and streams, and with these cuts, the objectives of the Clean Water Act itself cannot be met. Backlash is occurring, also due to waterfront property taxes dropping, and we won't know if the if it will pass quite yet, but we will keep you updated as this is ongoing. This is live. Alrighty folks, welcome to the Tucker Show with me, Tucker. So today I wanted to talk to you all about the ultimate piece of footwear. My favorite piece of footwear. It's the Chaco. This thing is the ATV of shoes. It is an all-terrain vehicle. You can wear it when you're swimming, when you're hiking, when you're biking or when you're jumping off a cliff, or when you're going to the beach, or when you can climb Mount Katahdin in these bad boys. I don't know many other people who climb Mount Katahdin in a pair of flip-flops, you know? These things are wicked sturdy, they're wicked strong, and they're wicked comfy. So do yourself a favor and go get yourself some chocos for the summer. Sorry for the interruption, but here we have a clip of an unexpected pinch runner who changed the direction of a Sanford baseball. Well, it looks like we're done here for tonight, folks. Have a great evening, and we'll see you tomorrow night on uh, Mainly News Tonight.